MACE is really proud to be working with the First Peoples Disability Network and other stakeholders in supporting development of artwork and storytelling to address the road trauma issues faced by First People on Queensland roads. Engaging people in, in artwork and storytelling is a really powerful way of um, conveying a message. I go into communities where people, English is their fourth or fifth language, and in mainstream community they'd be considered geniuses. So to me it's not about, um, it's about having a conversation in the most respectful way and getting rid of the text and the words that don't belong to our culture anyway and going back to using symbols that, and just they're telling stories. And that goes across everyone's ability to communicate using the symbols, because we all know, you know a picture paints a thousand words. So a simple symbol and artwork can start a whole conversation. So to me, when I paint and get to use that traditional storytelling, it's a way of connecting with our culture and keeping our culture going and engaging with us, with my own community on a very spiritual level sort of stuff. So it's telling stories the way that our ancestors um, taught us. Well, the symbols I use have been around for thousands of years. So there's a few symbols, as I said, like there, there weren't cars around 60,000 years ago or even 200 years ago. So sometimes you have to um, augment or develop new symbols or new ways of telling, representing something that still fits in with the traditional style, that topographical look. And I didn't want something that looked exactly like a car. I wanted something that was a representation of a car. Sometimes we, we, we've got a bit of a sense of humour with our stuff as well. We don't want anything to be driven. Sometimes it's just fun to have something, oh wow, that's a car. So it's, it's the sort of thing with that artwork which is very serious because we talk about um, disability and the impact of motor vehicle accidents and death. It can be the extreme um, result of that. But Mace, actually, the team there are incredibly respectful. I think Mace sets an example that I would like, they set a benchmark that I would like to see across the board. So the resources that MACE have created for First Nations people uh, are incredibly useful for the young people that we're working with to support them to understand the importance of the CTP insurance scheme. Our latest project with MACE, um, research has identified that in Indigenous communities, the licence ownership rate is only 40% of the driver's population compared to the non-Indigenous um, communities. That even if one person gets the message and we say one life is great, but I really hope it starts to make our people feel valued and they're part of all this and that they are worthwhile. So it's not about not breaking the law, but really, you know, make some good decisions, but keep your car registered. Engaging people in, in artwork and storytelling is a really powerful way of um, conveying a message. Rather than printing media articles or you know, procedure manuals. We want to truly engage with people. Having elders come and tell us how messages should be um, conveyed to local communities um, and artwork and storytelling seems to be a perfect medium to, to do that.